Hey guys, welcome back to another Flesh and Blood video. This video is proudly brought to you by the House of Cards, the official sponsor of my stream. Be sure to check out the link in the description below for all of your Flesh and Blood needs. Draw my eye into Mechanologist Heroes is very interesting because Mechanologist Heroes have to walk an extremely thin tightrope of clearing the board and putting pressure on their opponents. If the Mechanologist players don't walk that line perfectly, then they find themselves in an unwinnable position where there's four or five dragons on the board and they just can't recover. When you look at Mechanologist Heroes, you think to yourself, all of their cards have boost. I might just be able to fatigue them. But Max plays around that very well by having access to Nitro Mechanoid. Nitro Mechanoid is their late game plan and definitely how they plan to close out the game. Thanks for stopping by guys. Enjoy the game. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just sink below this. But... So they're definitely going for the Max... For the... Um... They're definitely going for the mechanoid plan here late game. I'm surprised they're on accelerator. Maybe that tells me they're not on the... Maybe that tells me they're not on that game plan. I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, let's just play Tome, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know. Let's just... Let's just get out there. We them boys. So if I pitch Fate for Scene and Command and Conquer, I can go rake the embers, crow my rabble, or I could pitch Fate for Scene and rake the embers, go crow my rabble, Command and Conquer. I like that better, I think. I like that better, I think. So let's go Rabble. We know there's no blues in our deck, so we know we just literally can't miss here. Yeah, I played really sloppy the whole game. I haven't updated my fab deck to my new adjustment, so it felt awkward. I need to update it once my son falls asleep. Currently laying in bed with him. Dude, that's awesome. I mean, like, it's... Like, I'm not being facetious in any way. Like, that's it's cool that, like, you're hanging out with your kid, man. Like, probably a lot of people who aren't doing that when they should be. So dude, that's awesome, man. I'm glad. So sounds like you're a good father, brother, and that's awesome, man. That's... As much as I love cards, you will very often hear me say that life is more important than cards. So I was like, there, there are a lot of times that like if something comes up or something like I will drop cards or I will drop streaming if I need to, to like be there and do whatever needs to be done. So that's awesome, man. But I also definitely understand your list feeling awkward <laughs> with, because you haven't updated it yet. I, I have been there. Oh, yeah. Give us a piece of equipment. Heck yeah. That's a, that's a W for the old Dromai deck. So play Mirror Guy. We'll Ash Neutral. We'll play Burn Them All. And then we'll come in for two and one Arcane. That Honestly, they probably have Accelerator for the Arcane Barrier. I was not thinking about that. I was not thinking about that. I was considering why they weren't just playing the base legs piece, but they probably have it for AB1, and I think that's smart. And then we'll just throw Rabble here. Like, I don't really see a reason to keep Rabble. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the Rabble. I think that's our best play. Um... Okay, so they're going to kill the mirror guy here. I mean, the floor of our turn is block 8 and throw dust up. And we can always just make an ash and not transform it if we need to. Appreciate it. Being a good dad is easy. It's super frustrating seeing bad parents. Know how low the bar is. I mean, I... So I'm, I'm not a parent personally, but I can, I can imagine that's a very frustrating thing for, like, for you to just see as a person. Like, I imagine that's honestly very, very hard to look at and see people being bad parents. I, I completely... I believe that, man. So, yeah, I mean, let's just block eight, and we'll just... Okay, so there's one mech suit gone.
There might have been a more aggressive line there to take, but I think that blocking eight... Um, I think that blocking eight and throwing dust up is completely fine. Like, our opponent could assemble the mechanoid as early as, like, next turn if they get it, so... If they have it in their arsenal, it just depends on, like, what their hand looks like. Um, let's go the dust up and the rabble here. We want to clear the way for any copies of... Um, for any, for any copies of, um, um, the nourishing emptiness that we might draw. So if I block, if I block Billowing Mirage, no, I'm sorry, if I block Uvia, if I block Uvia and then pitch Lost in Thought for Seeker's Mitts, We'll be staying at two Ash, and then I can pitch their Mai to play Billowing Mirage at an Ash Wing. I think that's a perfectly fine line. Like, I don't know what else they're going to be playing, but I do know that blocking this is important, because this is just, like, the most explosive card um, that this deck can offer. Um, I think we'll bottom that. I don't really have any interest in seeing Sigil right now. Okay, so I guess if they have it, they have it now, which is pretty terrifying, just like real talk. The mech suit is, like, extremely terrifying. The only thing that we do have going for us is that we have quite a few defense reactions and sigils, and we might just be able to outlast it. Interesting. So, one arcane coming at you, sir. So, they had two poppers. Kind of figured they did the way they blocked, but I still think we're just trying to get those out of there. Uh, Mirage, Command and Conquer... And a metamorph. So now we have all of our attacks cleared up. So no boost here. That is how many poppers so far? One, two, three. That's four poppers so far. And they've boosted over none. So, right, because there's three here. So... This is tough. Block, sweeping, blow, and burn them all. Throw seven at us. Or throw seven at them. I could alternatively just play the Chromite and then Arsenal the Metamorph here. I don't know. Like We have a couple of options. Like We have a couple of options of what we could be doing this turn. I don't like playing the Chromite because we only have two Ash. Let's just go up an Ash and throw for seven. And if they pop this, then we'll just make a copy of Burn Them All, and we'll just keep both of them and pass. It's just like extra arcane damage we're getting here. So, just keep putting the pressure on our opponent in the best way that we can. And my chair is on one tonight. So our opponent blocks with a high octane. Interesting. Um, I guess we'll get rid of the sink below. We can't shuffle that back in there or anything. I mean, I'm pretty inclined just to take four here, if I'm being honest. Rake the embers and to keep an ash and to pitch like so pitch Azulai to play rake the embers. And then pitch, um, I mean, I could just block as I could just block Asvali and then throw Nourishing Emptiness, which would be cool, but I think I'd rather take the upside of getting Rake the Embers on board and like really trying to like put, put my opponents back against the wall here. All right, no popper. No popper. No popper. To quote a very dear friend of mine, show me the money. Obviously, I'm kidding. I can no way, in any way, claim to be friends with Jerry Maguire. Although it's a fantastic movie if you've not seen it. I would highly recommend watching Jerry Maguire to anybody who likes 
like drama movies, like comedy drama movies in general. Did they have the popper? Boo. Um, rake, burn. What, one more card? I guess let's keep the chrome eye. Um, okay, so they have another popper in their hand. Okay, no, they don't have another popper. They're just loading the pistol a bunch of times and they're going to shoot an ash wing here. Okay, so there's another nourishing emptiness on top, which you love to see. I think Carly's in the other room talking about me yelling. Which, to be fair, is like not an uncommon occurrence. It sounds like she's talking about like when I like when like we're laying in bed. Oh no, there's. Oh no, the Ravnus Rebel! Ah! I cleared the chain to play Rake the Embers. Ugh, that was stupid. Oh my god, Zach, that was so dumb. Alright, well, that was definitely a punt right there. That was just... That was not a good play for me at all. Um... Man, that was just dumb. That was just not smart at all. So block nourishing emptiness, play burn them all attack, pitch the command and conquer to furnace, and then arsenal dominion and try to set up for like a big in a bigger dragon -y turn. So my opponent's just waiting until they draw the mech suit here. Like clearly that's what's going on at this point. Um they don't have it in their arsenal. Feels like their last high octane, if I had to guess. I could really just try to get spicy here and I could just throw the command and conquer at them. To make this interesting, but I think the Dominia play is going to be a better play for me overall. So let's just try to come in like this. If they don't have it, they won't have it. Can't fatigue Max. I mean, yeah, we're definitely not going to fatigue Max. Like that's for sure. Like the whole like mech suit is like anti fatigue, like very much so. So like even if they're not on the mech suit, like I think it's very hard to fatigue this deck. Um. But I think we need to try and play more aggressively here to get into the game, for sure. <laughs> what happened with the rabble turn? Oh, so the rabble turn was... So this is definitely the last high octane. Um, I attacked with the rabble, then I played Rake the Embers to break the combat chain so that my ravenous rabble was in the graveyard. So then my nourishing emptiness didn't have dominate and I didn't gain my fifth intellect. It was just me sequencing things in extremely poor fashion. Was was not a good play by me at all. Let's draw a card here. Miraging Metamorph is not a bad one to draw. Let's go... If we throw Snatch, they probably just give us the Mechanoid here, if I had to guess. I don't know. This is a tough turn. Let's throw Snatch and see how they block. I'm just going to snap this regardless here. Like, I think snapping a Snatch is like a perfectly fine play to make. So, we go Snap to give Go again. Play Dominia. Let's attack with Dominia here. I got you. It was like me using something for my soul before using Celestial Cataclysm, <laughs> preventing myself from playing it. I mean, I, I get that. That. Yeah, that is. 
That is unfortunate, man. That is unfortunate. So if I take the blue here, my opponent's hand is like pretty bad. Um, taking the twin drive leaves them with a playable hand. So I guess if I take the blue, it's just making their hand worse. I'm just going to take the blue here. I think that's our better play here. They didn't have a popper, so there was no reason to take any of their other cards. Let's just take their resources and make their hand as awkward as we possibly can. We get three Ashwings for free here that we're aware of. And then let's come in for seven. So we're just going to try and put our opponent on the back foot as much as we possibly can here. That's got to be our play from here. Or something like that, because I've never done that before. Hey, man, I listen. No judgment here, even if you have. No judgment here, I promise. I promise you that. Brother, I, I, I more than anybody, I think that plays card games has made so many mistakes i have made so many mistakes playing card games man like it it just it comes with the territory after a while like and i i have made more mistakes than most uh let's go yenderai then we'll go double passing probably just gonna kill dominia here if i had to guess and then try to set up for his high octane turn this turn So the fun part is that he's blocked with us twice. He can't just give me this to block my Caloria. He actually has to give me a card. And this is an item, right? This is an item. So he, if he doesn't, if he actually doesn't block this, we can take this. I cannot tell you how crazy this is going to be if we actually get to take this from our opponent here. So we're going to play the Caloria. And then we're going to play the Mirror Guy because we don't want it to have Phantasm. And then, get you. God, please don't let my opponent realize how this works. Please don't let my opponent realize that this works this way. Please. I'm begging you. I was looking at previous games now that I'm caught up. I'm a Prism gamer, and I've been a fan of playing her. So, I played Prism, um... I played, like, the original Prism, um, a lot when she came out, uh, or, like, not when she came out, because she came out before I started playing, but I played the original Prism a lot, honestly, man. Um, um, Prism, Prism, like, the original Prism was a ton of fun to play, and I liked that she could interact on both sides of the turn cycle, even if she didn't necessarily. How are we going about this? Do I want to throw two here? I don't think so. Um... I like that she could interact on both sides of the turn cycle, even if she necessarily didn't all the time. I enjoyed that that was something she could do. Um, so, Z, I, I completely understand, man. And I, I've tried to play New Prism quite a few times. Um, Like, I've tried to play New Prism quite a few times, and, like, I've just never really been able to, like, make her feel like I'm doing anything insane. Like, insanely broken, um, personally, so... There's still two Chromies left in the deck. I mean, but I... Th oh, he he's killing Mira Guy here? No, he's killing Caloria. And now he's going to attack us a bunch of times? I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to keep this and end my turn with it. Like. There's quite a bit of damage to take here. Yeah, this is a lot of damage to take. Gosh, the, the max, the max mechanoid plan is so good. Yeah, I hate it. We're going to go to nine. I, 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 I don't know if this is right. Honestly, it feels like it's completely not right, but we're just, we're, we're trying to live in, uh, live in gamer's paradise over here. Living in a gangster's paradise. Keep spinning moats their lives. Living in the gangster's paradise. So, pitch, snatch, and thermi.
Billowing Mirage for three. Kyloria. You can give us a card in this if you want. I was like, but they they have to they have to give us that and a card. There's there's uh there's zero copies of high octane left in their deck, I'm pretty sure. There's the one they just played, there's the one they blocked with, and then Didn't they banish one earlier? Am I going crazy? Okay, so there's one copy of High Octane left? I could have sworn that they banished one. I must be going crazy. I don't know. <clears throat> if they don't pop this, then I will definitely be attacking with the Mirror Guy at the end of the chain. I'm interested in just throwing as much damage as I can here. I don't think the Mirror Guy is buying me that much value if they're keeping three cards. Keeping three cards in an arsenal, I mean, means I'm more than likely dead here, but... Okay, so they did have a popper. I mean, that's fine. I bought another card out of their hand, so I'll take it, honestly. Um... Let's go to eight. Hmm. Block five, go to seven, and then take six, go to one. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win if I just, like, if I say, if I block here. Probably not going to win regardless. Yeah, Z, the high octane term was absolutely crazy, man. Like, I mean, like, like I knew it was coming because, like, that's that's their end game. Like, that is, that is Max's end game here. The one thing that we have going for us is that potentially they don't have a popper. They only, they, they do only have 12 cards left in their deck. So, but we're at one. I think the overpower is probably going to get us here. So, we need to draw a defense reaction right here, or a sigil. And we haven't played a sigil, right? I don't think I've played a sigil. And I did pitch one to the bottom, and I think there's only two sigils in our deck, so there's one more left. I might have pitched them both. It appears our opponent definitely has a popper. They're just debating on where they want to use it, I think. Man... So they're going to two. And then give me your popper. No. Okay. Sigil or defense reaction here. Eh, it doesn't matter. Oh, we drew the defense reaction. Get wrecked. Oh, boy. I love it when a plan comes together. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Um, man, I don't think it really matters. Like, what we draw there, we're just pitching our red to play Caloria. Man, you love to see it. You love to see it. They're at one. Give me a card. Give me a card. Oh, they're just gonna... Oh, yeah! Num, 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 I cannot believe we won that game. Going to one probably wasn't the best decision I've ever made, but I'm very glad that it ended up working out in the end. I spent a lot of the early game blocking efficiently and adding dragons to the board when I could because I wanted to pressure my opponent while keeping my life total as high as possible. The high octane nitro mechanoid turn was exactly what I was worried about, and a turn like that is enough to swing tempo in Max's favor. I've waffled quite a bit on whether it was correct to actually go to one against our opponent or not at the end of the game, 
Let me know in the comments below what you thought about that and if you would have done anything differently. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.